Besides creating text documents, you can also create forms on Google Drive. Forms are a great way for you to collect data or even create a short formative assessment depending on your needs. Here's how to create a form. Go to New, slide down to More, Google Forms. So here at the top, just like a Google Doc, you can put or rename your document. I'm just going to put test form for now. Enter. That also changes the title of the form here. I can put a form description. Whatever you want to put in there is fine. Notice it saves automatically. On the question section you have different options. You can either make it a short answer which is one or two lines of text. Paragraph, obviously longer answer. Multiple choice check boxes, drop downs, a linear scale of 1 through 5, you can also change those here, and then a multiple choice grid where you can name the rows and the columns. We're going to make a quick short form here for you so you can just see how it works. We'll make the first one short answer. I want the student's name. I'm going to make this one required. I want the next question to also be a short answer, so I'm just going to click duplicate here, and I'm going to change this to class section. Also make it required. I want the next one to also be short answer, so I'll click duplicate again, and this will be email, and also make it required. Just to kind of show you how multiple choice works, I'll make one multiple choice uh, question. So over here, I'll just click on the plus button to add a question. It is multiple choice by default. I am going to say um, favorite book. Option one will be Alice in Wonderland. Add another option, and that option is going to be Dracula. And I am going to allow them to add any other book they want here as other. And I'm also going to make this one required. Okay. Over here on the side, again, the plus allows you to add a question. The two T's, you can add a new title and description in between questions. You can add an image if you want. You can also add a video from YouTube. So adding an image allows you to upload one, take a snapshot. Uh, if your laptop has a camera by URL, whatever you want to do. For video, you can put in the YouTube URL. And you can also add different sections. So for example, let's say this is section one. Here I want to do section two. So this is collecting information about the student. Section two could be collecting information about the parent. Completely up to you. Okay, I'll just delete this section here. At the top, this palette allows you to change the color of this ribbon at the top, or you can even add a picture or change the picture if you want. I'll just put shamrocks in there just because. Preview allows you to preview what your form will look like to other people. Notice how we made all these required. Okay. I'll just exit out of that. And then you have settings. If you only want your students or other people to submit only one response, they will have to log in to Google, so they will need a Gmail address. Here, you can change the message the respondees will get once they have finished the form. Here you have three options, submit another response. You can also turn that off. They can edit their response, on or off. They can see a summary of different responses at the end. You can normally leave that one off. Show progress bar shows them how far they have gone through the form. And then you can also make sure that the form shuffles the questions for each person that signs in. Once you are done with your form, Select Send at the top. 
You can send the form via email by putting in email addresses here, a subject, and your message. You can get a link and post it on your blog, on your LMS page, anywhere you want. You can even click shorter URL to get a smaller one. Or if you have a blog or a wiki and you want to embed the form right on that page, here it gives you the embedded HTML code as well. Once you're done, you just click copy and you're good to go. I'm just going to cancel that. Once you have sent it out and you start getting responses, the responses will be here. You also have the option of viewing the responses as a spreadsheet. If you want to do that, just click on create spreadsheet. You want to create a new spreadsheet. Click create. And then what it'll do is it uh, creates this Excel type file for you with all your questions at the top and then with all the responses as they come in at the bottom.